So for today, we're going to be talking about the Threads of Light issue 3. It finally dropped. Unfortunately, I didn't win, but it's fine. I'm never probably going to win ever. But let's look at the people who did win. Reminder, though, if you're just going to say outright, oh, this looks garbage, I'm probably not going to allow the comment just because it doesn't really pertain to anything. Like, as in, you're not giving constructive criticism. You're not even saying what you don't like about it. At least tell me what you don't like about it. At least be, like, at least somewhat fucking nice about it. Don't be an asshole about it. Um... I'm not saying like you can't you cannot like this. I definitely there's some pieces that I don't like and just pieces in general. Where I'm just like, I don't like this, uh, particularly the Titans. I don't like uh, the the Warlocks eh. and then the Hunter is probably like the best one, in my opinion. So, again, it's OK to not like it. I am not one of those people that are, are like uber fucking weirdly like nice about it where it's like no people put their heart or her it's fine some some outfits look fucking horrid and it's okay to say like oh it doesn't look good it's just not okay to just like bash the person outright and like go really hard on it like just be nice about it that's really it's like oh i don't like it because of so and so reasons that's really it uh instead of just outright saying like oh yeah this looks like dog shit like that doesn't help anyone it just makes you look like a dick face so Without further ado, let's uh, look at the Warlock. So the Warlock, uh, it's it's pretty rough just because I don't know what the Warlock is going for. Uh, you're wearing the Hood of the Exile, which immediately already tells me that I might not like this because very few armor sets make the Hood of the Exile look good. This, in my opinion, is not one of those sets. Uh, I don't think Curious of the Heaven Lords go well with the Hood of the Exile. I might, I think he might be going for like an Egyptian theme. If he is going for that, then he might as well have just combined the the uh, Hood of the Exile with the new Trials chess piece. I think that would have been better because obviously both are heavy Egyptian inspired. Ophidian Aspect would have done really well with that as well. And it's technically not two pieces of the same armor. So... That would have been dope as well. The Solstice Boots, I think, is fine, specifically because he's going for a purple look. And then Celestine Bond also is fine. I think the chest piece is the only problematic piece of the whole set. But other than that, uh, maybe the shader? Maybe the shader's a bit off? Um, he's using Berguzi and Knight for the chest piece, which is a rough chest or a rough uh, shader to use if you use it incorrectly. Uh, Berguzian is really beneficial when it comes to armor pieces, not so much cloth. So that's why, it, like for me personally, I don't like the shader combination. I also think the the shader on the helmet is a little too dark. Uh, it almost looks like a brown black instead of like a purple black, which is probably what they were going for. Uh, the fitting aspects looks fine, although, my, like, my thing is, if you find an armor on uh, an, uh, a set that you like, you don't have to, like, push push it to the limit of, like, getting different shaders. It's cool. You'll get brownie points, but I think there's too many colors clashing right now. Like, I think the Ultra Plasmi Plasmic is good, but not right here, because the... The arms right here have like a almost like a yellow white and the the burp the purple is not even purple it's a purple blue not a purple pink or purple red so that purple is already not matching with the chest piece and that's also not matching with the helmet and the only purples that really do match are the celestine bond and the solstice boots those two are the only ones that are really really matching in my opinion so this is more of a the shaders are a little a little bit problematic if the shaders were all just one shader or if he shaded it a little bit better or she then i think this would have been a lot better in my opinion or it might be the well no they they took that out i was gonna say maybe it's the whole uh the whole uh what's it called uh it, whatever it doesn't matter um either way i i like it but at the same time i think the shader is just what's messing with it for the hunters i think the hunters is fine i know a lot of people are just gonna come right out and say oh another black and red hunter i get it but at the same time get over yourself like it's not that big a deal honestly i think this looks really good um there's like what i really like about this one is 
this is what shade like this is what the warlock should have done with shaders because this is shaders done right he's using midnight smith new new age black armory carbon blood new age black armory again and then carbon blood he is using a bit of the same shaders but he's doing it very tastefully because there's the red is almost just an accent at this point so there's red here red here right here red here right here on the under part of the armor piece and then the red on the helmet really uh really it's it's like a bold statement with the other red just like slightly here and there i think the armor pieces is a fine choice i think the emote should have been a little bit different so like we can see the whole piece but i know these pieces well enough that i know how they look so overall i do think this is a cool set uh I do think a little a little bit points off for Siege Breaker Cloak and Siege Breaker Vest. Usually I would say that, but I'm far more open to like people using more than one piece of armor. Only two, I think two is like the max for me. When you use three, depending on which ones you use, it's just you're just using that that whole armor piece at that point. But this is done very well. And I think this is one of the better ones because again, the shaders are on point. I think they did such a great job at accenting the red and then the helmet's like really like the, a bold choice in my opinion and then the armor pieces are just is also great i feel like the siege breaker vest goes really well with the legata strides uh, i think the arms are the only one that i'm like i i would have used something else personally something like with a little bit more of this pattern or something with a little bit i don't know it's just the lack of armor on the chest and the boots and then you see the, this much armor but I guess it makes sense because like with the helmet that he's using, Beastly Visage for that helmet, uh, I'll go with it. Last but not least, we have the Titan, which I think might be the worst one. Again, I don't want to be a dick about it. I don't want to be an asshole. I'm just saying out of all three, this is the one that lacks the most. Not only that, we technically saw this one when... Uh, when uh, Muffin Muffin Bandit did his, it just feels the same to me for some reason, even though it's probably not. Uh, granted, give you kudos for using the Sovereign Lion ornament. I think that's super cool, but I'm kind of over the Solstice Helm for the Titan. I feel like I see this on every Titan. Uh, good, kudos for you for using the the Iron the Iron Forerunner plate with the fire. I I, lo I love that, but the interlaced mark makes absolutely no sense with this unless you're going for a siva look but then like why is there fire unless you're going for an iron lord that has been siva i i see i could see that ha being the theme that you were going for but it's one of those things where people won't go out of their way to see what the theme is like me like i i love the fashion in this game so i i like i would give the extra extra attempt i like what was the what was the theme here like clearly the warlocks was uh egyptian theme clearly the hunter was kind of like a menacing like not evil but like bestial uh i don't that's the way i i see it at least for the hunter i love it by the way but the titan for me just is the one that's lacking the most although if that is your theme that is super cool i would probably just tell you to switch the sovereign lion ornament to probably an iron an iron banner leg piece and it doesn't even have to be the iron forerunner plate it could be uh literally anything uh, literally anything oh well, i wouldn't i shouldn't say literally anything uh, probably if you have the season three ornaments from iron banner which if you have the sovereign lion ornament i do not know why you would not have the iron banner ornament they weren't they weren't hard to get if you have that one that one will work wonders because it's very iron banner themed if you have the season one uh, or vanilla destiny 2 iron banner armor those boots would be fine as well i just feel like i don't like one of one of my things this is this this is pretty much it this is the video if you guys like the video like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think about each armor respectfully don't be an asshole i'm i i would much rather see what you don't like about it than just tell me it looks like shit outright because that doesn't tell me anything it just tells me that you like to be a dick face so with that being said, like my my issue with this game's fashion sometimes is the fact that like players really ask you to to see more than just the fashion. A lot of players would be like, "Oh, what do you think this looks like?" 
and you're just like, well, it doesn't look like anything. And they're like, oh no, this is this is an obscure obscure character from this show that I watch. And it's like, how the fuck would I know that? Like, that's something I don't like. So this is the this is what I get from like the pieces that you're wearing. It looks the, for the Titan specifically. It looks like you're trying to go for a an Iron Lord that is being taken over by Siva or is controlling Siva. Either way, I. I just I just question why you're using like the Solstice Helm, the Sovereign Lion Ornament. They look cool. They're not Iron Banner themed though. So if you really like if you really want to show me, oh, this is Iron Lord, then you have to use pieces from Iron Banner or something that looks Iron Banner-ish. For me, the Sovereign Lion Ornament does not look Iron Iron Banner-ish because it's specifically tied to a new monarchy. So that's why like for me i'm like that doesn't make sense it looks like something an iron banner uh, lord would wear but at the same time it belongs to uh to new monarchy so that's why like for me i'm like i don't i don't get it so i don't again i think i think all these pieces are fine i think the titans is the weakest one then the warlocks and then the hunter i think wins it i think the hunter just wanted if i'm being completely honest just because it looks so good uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll links in the description below. I will be making a, I will be making a, uh, I'll be making a fashion video not too long. Uh, tomorrow I will most likely do a Zer video just because A, I haven't done one in a while and B, most likely he'll sell something that we haven't done yet. Not only that, I'm going to be using some of the ornaments that uh eververse has been selling i want to make some combinations with those as well and i just need to get back into making more destiny 2 content because i've been lacking because final fantasy has sucked my life and it's it's a good suck so let me know what you guys think and i will see you guys later